This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Sam back with us. If you remember, Sam came in here the very first day, uh, walking on a cane. He's having severe lower back pain from degenerative disc disease, and he's had lumbar laminectomy down there. And he, every he had like what seven epidural steroid injections? Yeah. Uh, four epidurals and six blocks. And six blocks that caused him to have peripheral neuropathy or pain down in his legs, numbness down in his legs, and he was very unstable and imbalanced. And his uh, surgeon told him that if he saw a chiropractor, he would be paralyzed. So, just want you to see, he's still kicking. There we go. I analyzed all his diagnostics when he came in here. <coughs> Uh, there was nothing that was a contraindication for him to receive chiropractic care the way I do it. Okay, relax this. There you go. Good job. And see there, he kicks even better after his adjustment. Okay, there you go, Sam. Relax this in my hand here now. Yeah. Keep breathing, I got you. Will you left ear? There you go. Mm. Good. Now, will you right ear? Okay. So remember, you're in charge of your own health, not the surgeon. If you're having bladder or bowel dysfunction, you need to have back surgery to fix that serious neurological issue. But if you're just having lumbar radiculopathy and sciatica and you've already had surgery, you're still okay to get adjusted. As you can see, Sam's getting around a whole lot better than he was the first day or two. Yeah. First day I couldn't even lift my leg up here. Yep. You hopping on that table like a champ now. I'm adjusting his right SI first, sacrum in the center, left SI, well that one moved good. Now you can see he's been wearing a wallet over here in his back pocket, so I ask him to take that out of his back pocket and put it in his front pocket because that will exacerbate your pelvic alignment. I mean I do have an old saying, you knock them out, I line them up, but I try to give our patients the everyday little things to do to help them to recover quicker and stay that way longer such as sleeping on your back with your legs elevated oh yeah yes sir okay you still going to Galveston today mm -hmm. As soon as I get out of here. So he's feeling so good that he's going to take his whole family to Galveston today, which is the beach here in Houston. Legs are even. Good. Sam, tell me if this hurts anywhere in your lower back. Lower back? No. Okay. Just tightens up in your thighs? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's turn you on your back now, please, sir. Yeah, you move around a lot better. Have you noticed a big difference in? Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> so what's the pain back and forth so much right now? No, he wasn't. He's a lot steadier. There you go. Now slide down this way about an inch. And let's have you put your arm straight out to the sides for me. Let me have your legs, Sam. Just let it go limp. You kind of have a tendency to want to hold on to this one. <laughs> there you go. Should have felt that all the way up. Did you? Yes, sir. Okay, let this one go too. There you go. Good. Okay, let's sit you up. Face towards Angelina there. Rosanna. Rosanna, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's it. Now let me do it. 
I don't need any help. <laughs> don't worry, I grew up in the martial arts. I know how to break joints, <laughs> but I also know how not to. There we go. Very good. Okay, let's have you. see the chart about his belly? Oh, yeah, lay on your back for me. Sam just mentioned that he'd been having some acid reflux symptoms, so I've been adjusting his thoracic spine and rib cage. He just ate. And you can see, that's all right, you can do it right after he eats. His right rib cage is about a half an inch lower than his left rib cage. Take a deep breath in, Sam. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. We do not treat acid reflux, hiatal hernia, or GERD, the disease here, but we do treat the vertebral subluxations of the thoracic spine and rib cage, which are often the underlying cause of the diaphragm being weak and weakening the hiatus, letting the stomach slip up through the diaphragm into the esophagus and secrete acid. It's not that you have too much acid in your stomach, it's that that acid's getting up in your esophagus and creating irritation. Okay, good. Now let's stand up over here in front of the mirror. Okay, I got you. Flex your head forward and backwards. Wow, he's a lot more Whoa. stable. That's all right, I got you. You're not falling over like you were that first day. Mm -mm. Flare your arms backwards, Sam. Nope, oh. nope, nope. The other way. Like that. Okay, now see, you're letting your head go forward. Look in the mirror. Bring your head back and then all the way towards the wall behind you. Let you head forward and backwards again. Yeah, better. I did check him for clonus and, and upper motor neuron lesions. He does not have those uh, neurological signs, so he's he doesn't have an upper motor neuron lesion. He doesn't have hyperreflexia. Sam. Uh -huh. You went against the advice of your orthopedic surgeon for your spine telling you you had to have surgery and don't go to a chiropractor because I'll paralyze you, or right. any chiropractor would paralyze right. you. Yes. And you made the decision to come here all the way from El Paso. Right. So, so at least this is your third day of treatment, right. day three. How would you say you're progressing so far? And what, how has that met your expectations? My expectation on my back? Excellent. My thighs from the shots that they gave me are the only ones that are bothering Still me now, issues. you know, but other than that, my shoulder, the shoulder that was really bad, it's uh, it drinking, is, is moving okay, everything else. You're getting around a lot better, yeah. huh? Oh, yeah. You feel yeah. stronger? Yes. Are you uh, glad you made the decision to come in here? Oh, yeah. Okay, even, good. even though they told me, who would advise that they'll not leave you paralyzed and Mm -hmm. you're not, then you're going to need the operation. I said, well, we'll see about it then. Yeah. Well, this is day three. Sam's still not paralyzed, and he's coming back again tomorrow for two more. We'll see him back this afternoon if he makes it back from Galveston in time. <laughs> I'll make it back. This is your time. Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, and we love our veterans. We'll see y'all soon.